Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and I want to thank my good friend and colleague uh, from Texas, Mr. Farenthold, for his support in my legislation. I rise in support of our nation's veterans and in support of this legislation, which would designate the post office located at 122 North Holder Reef Boulevard in Tomball, Texas, as the Tomball Veterans Post Office. It is appropriate, Mr. Speaker, that on the first legislative day after Veterans Day that this House would honor its veterans for their sacrifice and fidelity to our country. I cannot think of a more deserving community than Tomball, Texas uh, in my district. Mr. Speaker, I just returned this weekend from visiting our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan and meeting with the President of Pakistan. I also visited our wounded warriors at Longstuhl Regional Medical Center in Germany on Veterans Day. I'm pleased to report that our men and women in uniform are doing tremendous work and have made extraordinary progress in the war on terror. I was also humbled by our troops' sacrifice and unwavering commitment to our mission. In Afghanistan, I witnessed the fruits of our soldiers' labor. For the first time, women are being educated, and Afghans are enjoying freedoms, the likes of which they could only dream about under the Taliban's brutal regime. In Iraq, where Saddam Hussein and his henchmen once brutalized the Iraqi people and silenced their voices, democracy is beginning to take shape. Today, the Iraqi people are free to express their diverse points of view and engage in the same kind of political discourse that we are engaged in here right now in this very chamber. It is because of our soldiers that this is possible, that the American people can be saved from terror and tyranny, and that others around the world, for the first time in their lives, experience the freedoms which we so often take for granted. I am so proud of our soldiers and what they have accomplished. Soldiers like Marine Corporal Jeffrey Johnson of Tomball, who lost his life in Afghanistan in 2010, defending America and what our country stands for in the world. Last year, I attended Jeffrey's funeral in the small town of Tomball, where over 30,000 people, 30,000 grateful Americans, lined up in the streets to show their respect for a true American hero. This unbelievable outpouring of support demonstrated their patri that patriotism and love of country are still alive and well in America. It's thanks to veterans like Jeffrey Johnson and so many others from Texas and across this great country that this is possible. And for that, we must honor our men and women who have served in uniform. That is also why I'm active with the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress, which preserves and makes accessible the personal accounts of American war veterans so that future generations may hear directly from veterans and better understand the realities of war. My father, a World War II veteran who flew bombing missions over Nazi Germany, always reminded me that his generation, often called the greatest generation, handed down a better America to my generation. The same, that same can be said for today's veterans, such as tomball heroes like Jeffrey Johnson, whose sacrifices are building a better America today. And so to all of America's veterans, let me say on behalf of this distinguished body, thank you, thank you for your service, and I urge my colleagues to join me in passing this legislation. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.